powers denied Congress. In the Constitution, there were specific powers that were denied Congress. I'm going to list off the seven of them, and a couple of them are basically expired. So the first one is Congress could not end slave trade before 1808. The year expired and the slave trade ended in 1808. Number two, Congress could not tax income. So this was a direct tax that's listed in the Constitution, which means an income tax. This was amended by the 16th Amendment in 1913. Congress cannot suspend the writ of habeas corpus. Habeas corpus grants the right to appear in court of law to actually challenge your imprisonment, to know your rights and your, your charges. So Congress can't do this. And the only time that they can do suspend the writ of habeas corpus is time of insurrection or civil war, like Lincoln did during civil war time. Number four, Congress cannot pass a bill of attainer. This is a law directed at a person or a group. Basically, it's where Congress says that this person is guilty of a crime. And with this, uh, the courts are the only one that can determine a person's guilt, not Congress. Congress cannot pass an ex post facto law. An ex post facto law is a law that makes an action illegal after the action has been committed. So you do something on a daily basis, and you do it, and then all of a sudden the law is passed, and it's then illegal, and that's ex post, ex post facto. And basically, the founders said that a citizen must know an action is illegal before committing it. Congress may not pass an tax on exports. The tax cannot be on goods between different states or actually leaving the United States. This was so Congress would treat all states the same equally and not unjustly. It also would be an unfair thing for actually us to tax exports. Number seven, Congress cannot pass any law or regulation that favors one port of one state over a port of another state. This again was for fairness to treat all states the same. So Congress wouldn't get involved in regulations or in taxing or in commerce between states. They had to treat all states the same. So these are the powers that are denied Congress. And uh, two of them are no longer around, and the others are around and still um, active. So these are the ones that Congress cannot.